Phew. Hey everybody, Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Okay, now, I know a lot of people don't talk about this, uh, so I'm gonna cover it today, because hopefully uh, I can give you my years of experience on what I've learned, and then that way it won't be so hard for you in the future. But, the key to successful gold mining, whether it be small-time prospectors or big multi-billion dollar corporations, the key to all of it is sampling. That's right. You gotta know what's in this ground if you're gonna get some gold out of it. So, how does a small timer prospect and know where the gold is? Well, you gotta sample, and how do you sample? Well, you gotta take bits and pieces from here and here and figure out what's in there. So, I'm gonna show you how we sample, and then hopefully you can use this knowledge to go out on your own and sample. Now, mind you, that we live here in, in the desert where there's not a lot of water, so the tools I'm gonna show you incorporate sampling in the desert. So. What do we do first? Well, you're gonna have to get your material from somewhere. So you're gonna need some buckets. We like the three and a half gallon buckets because they're not as heavy as a five gallon bucket. And trust me, as you get older, <laughs> you really see it, start to feel it. Okay, next, you're gonna need a gold pan. We like the Garrett Super Sluice, why? Because all these deep ridges right here and these fantastic sampling pan, and they're tough too. You're gonna need something to dig with, a scoop. You're gonna need a snuffer bottle. Because if you got the gold, how are you going to get it out of your pan unless you suck it out? You're going to need one of these little claw hooks, and I'll explain why later. Okay, you're going to need a five gallon bucket, and you're going to need a classification screen with a fine, fine screen on the top, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Next, you can go to any uh, sporting goods place and get one of these. It's just a table stand, it folds out like such. And a lot of people put their cooking stoves up here on top of it. It's fantastic, anything will do. But we like these because they fold up into a nice compact shape. Next, you're gonna get two pieces of wood to stick on top of it because you gotta put the tub on something. Classifier, of course that goes with the gold pan. Don't forget the classifier now. Funnel, make sure it's got a big hole in it now. Big tub. You see these concrete mixing tubs, mortar tubs, you can find these over at Lowe's or Home Depot. Get a nice good size one, cut out the center, put a drain plug in the bottom, put one of these little guys right there in the middle, just like that. And of course you're going to need some agua, some water. You're going to want two of these bad boys. These hold about five gallons a piece, so that's ten gallons of water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set all this stuff up show you how it works when it's all put together in just the right way so here we go okay so two pieces of wood go across here like that see that after you've opened up your little table then you set your tub on top just like that see that you're gonna try to get that as level as possible because you don't want it too much like this or like this at a high angle because all your water is gonna slop out and it's gonna be for nothing all right so you're going to want to get one of these into here, and yeah, you're going to get wet. And don't forget to put the drain plug in there first. Making me thirsty. Mm. Okay, so you got your tub now, it's up on top. Now, take a look down below. Now down here, you got your five gallon bucket, see that? Sitting right on the bottom. You got your really fine screen, classifying screen, sitting right on top like that, see that? Okay, I'll show you what that's for later. So, okay. So you got your, your bucket of material that you dug up from one of your spots that you think that you got some gold, right? So you're gonna take your classifying screen and your pan you're gonna put that in the water just like that. Dump what you think you got. Classified all that heavy stuff out of there. Get rid of that. Okay, then you're gonna pan this material down. And I'm gonna try to pan it down real fast for you. Now, I don't think there's anything in here. And remember, shake, 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 stratify that material. Because if you don't, guess what? That gold's gonna wash right out of there. Now 
Uh, I know I'm going faster than I should, but this is not a panning lesson. So then you get down as far as you can, you tap that a couple times, you swirl it back, let that water do its work, and would you look at that, I don't believe it. Even in my backyard I'm finding gold. How lucky is that? Take a look. You can't really see it very well. There's a couple pieces right there. See if I can swirl that water on there to get some of that off of there. There you go. Tap some of that up. There you go. There it is right up in there in the corner. See all that fine gold? <laughs> There's gold everywhere. Okay, so you do that about maybe 10, 15 pans, you know, because you're prospecting, you're digging down to the bedrock, to the cleachy, um, you're using a backpack trying to get all that material stuck out of there, and then you're panning it. Okay, so now what people don't realize is, is all that material that you had in this bucket, it's inside of here now. So what are you going to do? Because this thing's going to be filled with mud, but you want your water back because you're in the desert, right? So what do you do? You take your little hook here. You stick it down in there like such, and you pull your drain out. Now take a look. See this? Water draining in there. But look at that. All the heavy material is stuck in there. Not bad, huh? So then once that all drains out, you put the plug back in. See that? All that material that's in there, that's the stuff you were just panning. Now, it's not going to get everything. Of course, the really fine silt stuff is still going to be in there. But if you let this sit long enough, it'll settle to the bottom. It'll actually act as a trap. So, you pull this guy out. You put your cat back in. And voila! If you do it slow enough, you can trap all that silt. Take a look at that. See all the silty material in the back there? If you do it slow enough, you can get it the, the stick in the back so it acts as a secondary trap for that finer material. Not bad, huh? So now you can sample, 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 pan, 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 and do it again. Now this water is going to be good for about maybe 30 or 40 times and then it's going to become such a thick slurry that it ain't going to be worth anything. So that's why you need a second one. Then you dump all this water out when it's too thick, when it's almost a consistency of a thick slurry. And then you use the second one. And that'll give you about maybe a half a day, three quarters of a day, depending on how much clay is locked up into the soil that you're working. So if you decide to go to a different location, what you can do is once you get all the water out, and you can put one of these guys underneath here. This is the neat part about it. So you slide him up underneath there like that. Now, remember the big funnel I was telling you about? Alright, I'm gonna stick him on top just like that. See that? And then you're gonna take the top off. Now you can regulate the flow, but if you get it just right, guess what? It goes right in. Not bad, huh? I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> See how that goes right back in there? And you don't waste any water, because trust me, in the desert, you're gonna want every drop. There you go. Put the cap back in. Take the funnel off. And you put the lid on. Now you're gonna have a little residual material in there. You can just dump that out. And then you can package everything back up. Everything breaks down nice and easy. And of course, when you get all your gold in your pan, I forgot to tell you, use your snuffer bottle. But I'm sure you already knew that if you've uh, been doing this for any length of time. So, and then this will break back down into a collapse and then you can take water put it back in your vehicle and you're ready to go again so I know this has been a really quick demonstration but I wanted you to see how you can effectively prospect out in the desert with a few simple items where you can use water because that's the most effective way to sample and how you can reclaim your water without throwing it away because a lot of guys they show you panning in a tub but they don't let you know that that tub fills up with mud real fast so anyway until next time this has been Jeff Williams from AskJeffWilliams.com saying, don't forget to bring some water.